The history of the Orto Lapidario and of the Museo di Antichità, currently known as the Civico Museo di Storia ed Arte, started in 1833 with the inauguration of the monument to Winkelmann, the renowned German historian and antiquarian who was tragically murdered in Trieste in 1768. The monument became the starting point of the future museum, which was created with the express purpose of cultivating and promoting the local study of archaeology and art. Indeed, Trieste, thanks to its geographical position and its maritime trade, was able to attract items from the classical lands, from Egypt, and from places as far as Mesoamerica. The aim of acquiring such artifacts was to provoke in the locals a love of beauty, to attract foreign experts, as well as to educate local artists and craftsmen. The Orto Lapidario houses ancient Roman exhibits from Aculia, the Istria Peninsula, and Tergeste. These form a vast array of ancient sepulchre, honorary, and sacred apocryphy from between the 1st and 5th centuries AD. In the little temple lies the monument to Winkelmann, a neoclassical work by sculptor Antonio Boza, which is surrounded by Greek and Roman classical sculptures. These exhibits represent the oldest core of the city's collections, which at the end of the 18th century belonged to the Accademia degli Arcadi Sonziacci, the garden opposite the museum building, surrounded by a wall with towers, and dating back to the late 1400s or the 1500s, houses medieval and modern items from the city. In the museum, one can retrace the prehistory of the Karst Plateau around Trieste from 80,000 years ago, through items found in the caves and similar shelters found in the rocks. Pottery, arms, and personal ornaments from the Bronze and Iron Ages come from settlements called Castellieri and their respective necropoles, one of which, the one from Santa Lucia di Tomino, stands out with its more than 7,000 tombs complete with grave goods. There is a vast Roman collection from Aquilia, enriched by additional items found either locally or around the Mediterranean basin. These include sculptures and objects of daily use, imperial and private portraits, statuettes and bronze deities, and a rich series of bronze, ceramic, glass, amber, and bone artifacts, deriving mainly from dwellings and graves. The Greek section displays a vast repertoire of Attic and Magna Grecia pottery, providing an historical overview that ranges from the archaic to the whole of the Hellenistic periods. These items are noteworthy in terms of quantity, size, beauty, and originality. The finds from the Toronto excavation site are especially interesting. Reliefs in terracotta figures, antifixes and vases, and the impressive embossed silver riton, a ritual vase in the shape of a fawn's head, made around 400 BC. This is the museum's pièce de résistance. Finally, a similar room houses the Collezione Fabiette from El Salvador. This includes vases, instruments, and anthropomorphic and zoomorphic terracotta figurines, illustrating the traditions of a farming community which lived in contact with the great Mayan culture between 600 and 1000 AD.